Hello, I'm Hillary Johnstone. This is CBC News Network. It was an historic victory for Manitoba's NDP last night. Wab Kinu is set to become the province's first ever First Nations Premier. In his first media appearance today, Kinu thanked voters and promised to get right to work on his key election priorities. I want to thank you, the people of this province, for investing your trust in us to form your next government. And I will commit to you again today that we are going to work hard every single day to repay the debt of gratitude that we feel for this opportunity by fixing your health care and by making life more affordable for your family. The CBC's Albert Delatella joins us now. So, Albert, what's the latest at this point? Well, Hillary, fresh off that majority victory, uh, well, Wap Kanu, uh, the premier-elect, he says he has his work cut out for him. He highlighted health care in particular, saying he won a mandate to fix that system. Kanu said he'll staff up health care and improve working conditions there. He says the election campaign saw a divisive, saw divisive messages, but that voters rose above that division. Here's more from the premier-elect on the gravity he sees in the task at hand. I've been asked to serve as Premier. I don't know how much more uh, weight you could uh, put on somebody. I mean, this is the most difficult thing that I've ever done in my life. And the real work hasn't even begun yet. So I'm going to treat this job with the utmost of reverence and the humility that I believe will be necessary to serve you, the people of Manitoba. And of course, I hope to make a, a positive contribution for all Canadians as well. And it's a historical win. Canoe, as you mentioned, Hillary, is Manitoba's first premier who is First Nations and the first First Nations premier in a Canadian province. And it was a decisive victory, the Manitoba NDP winning 30 seats in total. The progressive conservatives were elected in 19 seats and the liberals just barely hung on with one seat. Outgoing premier Heather Stephenson, she announced she would resign as PC leader. She said she hopes Canoe's win inspires future generations. The historic nature of Mr. Canoe's victory must be acknowledged here this evening. Wab, I hope that your win tonight inspires a future generation of Indigenous youth to get involved in our democratic process, not just here in Manitoba, but right across the country. Wab, congratulations for that. Meanwhile, Liberal leader uh, 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 Dougald uh, Lamont, he uh, lost his seat uh, to an NDP candidate. He also stepped down as that party's leader. And Albert, we've also had a little bit of news today. We're hearing more from Ottawa about funding for a search of that landfill, which of course was talked about quite a bit during this election campaign. So what can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's just coming out of Ottawa, Hillary. Uh, the Department of Crown Indigenous Relations says the federal government says it will contribute $740,000 toward further assessing the feasibility of searching a Winnipeg area landfill for the remains of two First Nations women. Uh, it says that uh, more research is needed Needed on how a search can be undertaken. The Premier-elect, he uh, commented on that just a bit ago there, on, and uh, he talked about um, uh, how he would proceed, or he, he kind of alluded to that, and, um, and he said it would be one of his top priorities. It will be important for us to uh, deliver on this, and again, it's important for us to try. And so I think the first task before us is to go through the transition and to, to be sworn in as a new government. And then uh, this will be one of those items that we want to uh, tackle in the very early days. So he didn't uh, uh, go into uh, detail about how he might proceed there. And he also didn't reveal any timelines on, on next steps. But he said that it would be a top priority for his government, Hillary. Okay. Albert, thank you so much for wrapping all of that up for it. Of for us, rather. We appreciate it. You're welcome. CBC's Albert Delatella. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.